Hey Stampers, welcome to another week of Watch It Weekly Wednesday. I'm Aubrey, part of the Stamp and Jill Creative team, and today I'm excited to share with you a fun technique called the faux watercolor technique using the Stampin' Blends. Featuring the circle saying stamp set and punch, you can see in here all of these round circle um, sayings and images that coordinate with our new two and three eighths inch circle punch. Super cute, super fun, and who doesn't love having a circle punch back? So I wanna show you some ideas using this stamp set, but then I wanna show you a little stepped up idea, making it kind of a watercolor blends technique. So here's some samples that we came up with using the stamp set in a, a more typical way to use blends. You can see how cute it is. Those cute cupcakes and the waves. So much fun. And here's some that are just stamped, not using the blends. But I have a fun idea using the blends to make a more watercolory look. So I'm going to start by stamping with our bubble bath three cupcakes. I'm going to start with my middle cupcake. And then I'm gonna stamp two more on either side. Whenever I'm stamping a set of three, I like to start with the middle and then do the side second so that I can kind of um, measure where I want those to be. And then I'm going to add a cute saying in the starry sky, just happy birthday right over my cupcakes, just like that. Now, this doesn't look like a typical um, image that you would use Stampin' Blends on, but the cool thing is we're gonna use them and kind of cover up the pink that was stamped, and it's just gonna look like you drew those cupcakes on your own, okay? I'm gonna start by coloring our frosting with the Bubble Bath Blends. I'm gonna use the dark bubble bath and just kind of outline the frosting just like that. Maybe give a little bit of shading here on this side. And then I'm gonna fill the rest of that in with the light bubble bath. And then I like to just kind of go over that again with the dark just to really re-emphasize those lines just like that, okay? And then for this cupcake um, bottom, I'm going to use our Lemon Lolly blends. I'm gonna do kind of the same thing. I'm just going to outline the image with dark Lemon Lolly. And one of the cool things about a watercolor look is that it is not necessarily perfect. So you don't have to perfectly outline that. Then I'm just gonna color that in again with a light lemon lolly, just like that. And then go over it again with the dark, just to really re-emphasize those lines, okay? And then our cake color is going to be light pecan pie. And I'm just gonna kinda color that in just like that, okay? And the cool thing is it looks like you just drew and colored this cute cupcake when you actually stamped it. So then we're gonna do another color. We'll choose Calypso Coral for our cupcake liner this time and just do that same technique. I'm gonna use the dark and do my liner color it in with my light, do my chocolate cake, reline that with the dark, just like that. And then I'll show you one more time that cute frosting. Just outline it with that bubble bath. And you could use any color of frosting, really that you want, but pink makes me happy. 
and then just go over that again. And you can see the cool thing about blends is that once it completely dries and kind of sets, it gets more of that watercolory look you can see there. Okay, so let me show you the finished card here. I added some designer series paper, finished off my last one there with some balmy blue cupcake liner and so cute. It looks almost like you drew those little cupcakes yourself and really the stamp just helps you along the way. So when you typically when you use stamp and blends, you color or you stamp it in a memento black ink just like this and then you can color that image in and this is what it'll look like. Super cute, very fun, but you can see the difference there. You don't have that black outline color like you do by stamping the image in that bubble bath because it gets covered up with using the blends. So that's how you get kind of that more watercolory look from your blends. Okay, I wanted to show you one using the other image that I love in this stamp set. This is this cute little wave image and I'm going to stamp it this time in Daffodil Delight, okay? Just like that. And I'm gonna do kind of the same thing. I'm using different colors here. I'm going to use Starry Sky um, and I'm just going to kind of outline. I'm gonna use the dark Starry Sky and I'm gonna outline my waves kind of in that same technique. Just take my Starry Sky and follow those stamped lines just like that. And then I'm gonna color the waves in with my balmy blue. So I'm just gonna kind of follow those same lines and just color my water balmy blue, just like that. And then I still want my sun to be yellow, so I'm gonna use Daffodil Delight blends and I'm going to take the dark Daffodil Delight and just outline those lines, just kind of add a little more lines in there. And then with my light, I'm gonna color in my sun, just like that. Just like that, super fun. And then you can take a, one of these cute round sayings around it, thinking of you. We'll do the top and the bottom. And using our new punch, punch it out. And let me show you my finished card there. Super cute. So you get kind of that look that you drew that instead of stamped it. You're so talented. <laughs> I've had so much fun doing this faux watercolor technique using the Stampin' Blends and this Circle Saying stamp set goes perfectly with this technique. If you have any other line art stamp sets on hand, you can do this technique using any of them. I'd love to see what you come up with. If you have any questions or you want to order any of this product, they're linked below. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next week for another Watch It Weekly Wednesday.